Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, let us take a look into the introduction to JUnit. Well, what is JUnit? Well, JUnit is a testing framework for Java. Well, JUnit framework is a de facto standard for writing unit test cases in Java. One of the key features of JUnit framework is that it allows you to create unit test cases that can be run over and over again with consistent result. Next, JUnit helps to verify that individual unit subcode works as expected. Well, the main goal of JUnit is to help you verify that small individual parts of your code such as methods or functions perform correctly. By writing JUnit tests, you can check whether your code behaves as indeed even as you make changes and add new features to your code. Alright, so JUnit is one of the well-known testing framework to write the unit test cases in Java. Next, let us see how JUnit works. Well, JUnit framework provides a lot of annotations to write the unit test cases in Java. Well, in order to write the unit test case using JUnit framework, we first write the method and we annotate that method with at test annotation. Next, JUnit framework provides a lot of assertions that we use to check if the results are as expected. So JUnit framework provides a lot of assertions that we can use to check whether the expected output or the result is matches to the actual output or a result. Next, JUnit platform has a test runners. So test runners execute the unit test and report the results. Next, JUnit can be integrated with IDEs and build tools for easy execution. Well, JUnit, you know, nowadays has a integration with the popular IDEs like IntelliJ IDEA, Eclipse, VS Code, okay? And JUnit perfectly works with build tools like Marvin or Gradle. So basically, JUnit has a good integration with IDEs as well as the build tools. Next, let us quickly summarize how JUnit works. Well, here is a Java code that we want to test is known as class under test. Next, we want to test the Java code for that we write a unit test using JUnit framework. So JUnit framework provides a lot of annotations to write the unit test cases. Next, JUnit framework provides test runners. So these test runners will basically execute the unit test cases and report the result. Next, let us take a look into key features of JUnit. Well, JUnit framework provides a lot of annotations to make test management easy. For example, JUnit framework provides at test at before at after annotations to manage the execution of your test. These annotations help you organize your test code and specify how and when certain methods should be run. Assertions are used to check the expected results. Well, JUnit framework provides a lot of assertions that we can use to check whether the actual output matches the expected output. The JUnit framework provides a variety of assertions like assert equals, assert true, assert not null, assert null. All right. Next, test runners execute your test and report the results. Well, JUnit includes test runners that are responsible for executing your test cases and reporting the result. When you run the test suite that contains a list of test cases, the test runner handles the execution of each test case, captures the result and provides a summary of which test passed or failed. Next, JUnit supports integration with build tools like Marvin or Gradle. Well, JUnit easily integrates with the popular build tools like Marvin or Gradle, which are commonly used in Java projects. This integration allows you to automatically run your test cases as a part of build process, ensuring that your code is always tested and verified before it is deployed. Alright, so this is a quick introduction to JUnit framework. In next lecture, we'll take a look into JUnit framework architecture. Alright, great. I will see you in the next lecture.